Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Heather. I make health and fitness related videos. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the things that changed since my weight loss. So if you haven't already watched my weight loss transformation story, um, I'll link it here, but definitely check out that video. I talk about how I lost 40 pounds and what I did, the tips and tricks that um, helped me along the way. Today's video is going to be about the things that have changed since I've lost the weight. So the first thing I want to talk about is obvious, the obvious things, my physique and how my body has actually changed. Um, I guess I'll show you, I can kind of show you, but like for my face and stuff, um, my face used to be a lot rounder. I didn't really have, you know, a prominent jawline like I do now. Um, I, well, I hadn't seen it in years. I had a double chin, which is, I still do kind of, especially when you do this. I don't know. I think everybody does when you do this, but I had one just like there all the time. Um, another thing that I noticed right away was my collarbones, decollete, if you will, but my collarbones started to protrude. Well, I don't know if they, I mean, they didn't protrude. They're already there, but like the fat that covered them melted off so then you could see you know my collarbones coming through the same with like my shoulders I don't know you can kind of see right there as I like show you but um that's one thing I noticed right away just like feeling my body like when I was showering and stuff or putting on lotion I could tell my shoulders were losing weight it's so weird to think that you'd have a lot of fat like on your shoulders but like you can feel my bones coming through now um, versus before I didn't ever feel these bones. Um, you know, I had a layer of fat over them. So I didn't ever really like notice that they were there, I guess. Um, another thing was the lower part of my neck and the back. I had like a hump right here. If you have one, you know what I'm talking about, but I had like just like a fat, a fatty hump there. My entire back was covered in fat and now you can actually see muscles there, which is kind of cool. I didn't even really know I had back muscles until I started lifting weights. Um, what else? My wrist bones. This is so weird. I actually have like wrist bones. I never really noticed that either. Just little things like that, you start to realize. You have our like hip bones. My hip bones protrude now. Um, when I'm laying flat on my back, you can definitely see like bones um, sticking up. The top of my butt, <laughs> this is so TMI. Should I even mention this? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so the top of my butt, I used to have like, I. <sighs> this is embarrassing, but like I used to call my, the top of my butt, like my butt back my back butt, my back butt, that's what I called it. And it, I meant that my back was like, like so fat right there that it was like the top of my butt. Like you didn't really know where my butt started and where my back started, if that makes any difference or any sense. Like a humpy area right, right on my lower back and then my booty. Now it's completely gone. Um, I definitely have like a straight back and then a booty. Um, and it's something you can really see with my old clothes. Like when I put on my old jeans that definitely are so big that I can't wear. Um, but you can see where I've stretched out that top, the upper half of that, um, the jeans there. And that was my back butt. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, the biggest one probably for me, you have it, you know what I'm talking about, is the chub rub. I had chub rub so bad that... I would get sores, I would get like red rashes in between my thighs. Um, summertime was like, I love summer, but also like I dreaded the chub rub and I don't have that anymore. My thighs aren't like, you know, I don't have a thigh gap. I don't think I ever will. I just don't think I'm like, my body type is like that. Um, but I don't have chub rub. My legs don't rub constantly like this. My thighs don't rub like that anymore. And it is so nice. Thank you, Jesus. It is so nice. Um, but I don't wear Spanx or like biker shorts underneath my dresses. Um, I don't, I don't have to worry now about wearing shorts, things like that. I'm, I'm okay with, but if you've had chub rub, you definitely know what I'm talking about, girl. You know, I am in such a better spot now <laughs> that it's gone. Another big difference has been my, this is TMI, but like my bra size, sorry hubby, 
but um I used to have I used to wear a double D size bra and now I wear a 34 B so <laughs> my bra size has changed so much the next thing is my skin my skin has changed um it's definitely gotten clearer since losing the weight in the past I would have really really red cheeks and you know I, I break out I definitely break out I'm a, I'm a woman you know during those hormonal times I break out um, especially like around my chin and stuff but I, like you know it was back and forth it was combo skin and right now it's just it's it's normal but it used to be like dry a lot or it would be really really oily um, it just never knew what it wanted to be the next thing is energy oh my gosh I have so much energy now um it's weird because like I'll, I'll go to the gym and work out and then I'll come home and then I'll feel like going on a run. It's the weirdest thing. Like I just want to keep going and I have to honestly remind myself like slow down. You can get burnt out. Like it's not a race. Take your time. You know, you'll have tomorrow. It's weird. It's like now that I've um, lost weight and my body's feeling lighter and I'm feeling stronger. I just want to do more. I just want to keep going. Um, the first couple of months when I started losing weight, I went on a ropes challenge course with my husband. I had so much fun doing that. I can't wait to do it again. Um, I felt strong then. I definitely had lost out 20 pounds then. And so I felt really good. And then um, just a couple weeks ago, I did a 5K and um, I can link that video up here if you want to watch that. But I loved that. I had so much fun. I exceeded my goals um, and it was just fun to be able to do it and to feel strong and to have that energy. Next thing is like I have goals. Like I have so much energy that I can't wait to do things. Like before I never like workout type things for dates or whatever but now whenever my husband asks me what I want to do like on a date night I'm like let's go do something fun like let's go on a hike it's weird because he's like he wants to like go to the movies and go have dinner and you know those types of things and I'm like I want to go you know I want to go work out it's so weird um sign up for like a tough mutter or a warrior dash um I really want to do those and I want to like compete and try my my best to do those and so yeah, that's my next like goal. I also want to go like on a real hike. Like I want to go to Colorado or somewhere beautiful and hike, not just like go on a stroll or like a walk. Like I want to get the backpack and do the hike. So I have goals, um, but that's something that definitely has changed. I have so much energy. I'm not feeling um, fatigued. I'm not tired all the time. When I wake up in the morning, I'm definitely ready to go after I have my coffee but I'm excited for the day. I'm not feeling tired or sluggish or anything like that. I have so much energy and it's amazing. And I keep up with my toddler, which is great. Another one is I don't have as many aches and pains or injuries like I used to. I, in the past, had a knee injury um, in high school and ever since then, just gaining weight has been awful to my knee, um, both knees actually. And since I've lost the weight, I don't have any pain in my knees, which is, incredible I used to have so much pain like I would be sitting on the floor with my son and when I would go to get up I would feel I would be fearful that my knee was gonna give out like honestly that it was that bad and I would have achy pains like in the night when I was sleeping my my knees would ache so bad or like when it would rain no 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 be a lady Sorry about that. Another thing is I was having pain in my lower back and I had been seeing a chiropractor for months um, before I started losing weight and being serious about, you know, losing weight. And we even got a new mattress and you know, that helped a little, but then when I started losing weight, I wasn't having any issues anymore. I wasn't actually like complaining in the morning. I wasn't having any problems. Um, so I definitely think it was a combination of getting a new mattress, but also just losing weight. Another um, problem area that I had before was plantar fasciitis and that started up when I was dancing in college. Um, I got my dance minor in college so I danced for four hours a day and my feet took a toll during that time. I got plantar fasciitis but since losing the weight I was actually kind of worried when I first started that I was going to have issues with my foot and I was going to have pain there. but. I haven't had any issues. It's been wonderful. 
Um, so losing the weight and getting stronger has definitely helped my feet. Another big one is migraines. I don't have migraines like I used to. Oh man, I had probably three, sometimes four migraines a month. And if you have ever experienced severe migraines, you know that it's so debilitating. You can't do anything. You basically have to lay down in a dark room. Um, hopefully you got medicine in time, but you just have to wait it out and it's awful. And it's something that you um, can't really deal with when you have a toddler. Um, but since losing the weight, I have not had migraines. I've probably had one in the last six months and it is amazing. My, I have never felt better. I have never experienced being this migraine free. It's amazing. Okay guys. And the last thing is confidence. My confidence level is through the roof. Honestly, if there's ever a mirror nearby, like, you know, I'm looking in it, you know, I'm checking myself out. No, but really in all seriousness, um, I am living my best life. I feel so good. I just, I'm so proud of myself and everyone else, you know, that's close to me has told me how proud they are of me. And it's great to hear such good feedback from others. It's really embarrassing to admit, but I have had people cat call me, like other guys cat call me walking down the street and you know, you get whistles and stuff out the window. Um, I'm getting that. I, let me remind you, I am a 29 year old married mother and I'm getting cat called like, thank you. But, but no, thank you. But also thank you. <laughs> Feel beautiful again inside I feel really pretty but I can I can actually say that I feel pretty on the outside and it's been it's been a while I've always you know I still always think that I'm pretty no matter what size I've always felt you know beautiful um but honestly just my confidence level I just feel so secure with myself I um I don't mind talking to strangers and people I actually enjoy it now before I kind of dreaded meeting new people and I was nervous to do that just because you know I wasn't feeling my best and I'm actually feeling my best now so it's great the confidence level is through the roof like buying clothes and things like I used to dread doing that and it wasn't fun and I hated it but now I'm like I can't wait to go shopping. I can't wait to go, you know, pick out new clothes and things like that. It's exciting again. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed me sitting here with my animals and talking to you about, you know, the changes that have happened to me um, while losing weight um, and what, you know, my body is like after the weight loss. If anything, I really hope this inspired you to lose weight. Um, <laughs> and to know that there are huge changes that come with it and a lot of them are great and some of them are a little bit weird honestly like the majority of it is just amazing and it's life-changing um if you're interested in any other videos subscribe to my channel it really helps me out have to subscribe but like why not like I mean it would only like me hurt my feelings if you don't I mean so please subscribe anyway um so in the near future, I'm going to be making more videos. I think I'm probably going to do a video where I try on all my old clothes. That way you can see how much weight I've lost and the difference um, the clothes make. And I think after that, I'll probably donate all those clothes. And then maybe I'll take you with me on a shop with me. So if you're interested in that, definitely like this video. Please subscribe. Um, leave comments below what you want to see next. If you have any questions at all, please leave those comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I will see you when I see you next. Bye, guys. Ah, she's scratching me. Say bye. <laughs> she's so mad. <laughs> Sorry I did that to you. Sorry. You still love me. You still love me. You still love me. I love you. You kiss me. Um, don't eat my hair. Don't eat my hair. I said don't eat my hair. Don't. She hates me right now. She's purring, but she's also mad. <coughs> There's cat hair everywhere.